Hi again, everyone. Welcome back. So I have a collection of skincare goodies here, and we are going to discuss my favorite products of 2018. So how I am doing this is by products I have used in my everyday skincare routine that I feel have benefited me the most and that I would repurchase. So that's kind of our criteria here. I have a lot, so let's get right into it. The first thing, the first two things I will share are based on the recommendations of a facialist I went to, and I really need to schedule another uh, session with her, but she recommended that I start using a gentle facial cleanser like Cetaphil. Um, I really like this one from Whole Foods. It's the Whole Foods brand daily facial cleanser. They have one that looks almost identical to this one, but it's the gentle cleanser. I don't like that one. It burned my face. Um, this one, the daily facial cleanser, is has been amazing it's just a really gentle facial cleanser i think for all skin types but i have sensitive skin so definitely has helped me a lot something else that she recommended is this is like an old school product that i used to see my mom use it is sea breeze astringent for sensitive skin um, this one came with 60% more and whenever I'm having a breakout, she recommended that I put this on my face only during breakouts and it really helps kind of clear things up. It works. It has worked really, really well for me. It's really affordable. You can get it at drugstores. Um, the sensitive skin one is the most recommended. The other piece of advice that that facialist gave me was instead of using like really harsh uh, products on acne spots, she told me to use that astringent and then a clay mask. So there's been a couple masks that I have been loving this year, but my favorite, and I wish I could get it in a bigger size, is the Yes to Cotton facial comforting mud mask for sensitive skin and I got this at the Dollar Tree and I got a bunch of them because you can't find it easily now so I'm really sad but you can check online and I think they sell them um, you know like through third-party retailers but I would say that once I run out of this one I will use my second favorite which is the Mario Badescu silver powder. Now this is a powder that you put on a cotton pad um, and then you, you wet the cotton pad or cotton ball and put it on like your pores and it's supposed to draw everything out. I actually use this as a mask and it works really really well for clearing out my pores and I find it helps for like little blemishes but honestly 2018 has been a pretty good year in terms of my skin because after I saw that facialist, she gave me such great advice that moving forward, my skin has like, fingers crossed, been behaving itself. Um, let's see, moving right along, one brand I have been obsessed with in 2018 is The Ordinary. And I have a ton of products by The Ordinary. I just got these two as examples. Um, this one is the caffeine solution with 5% EGCG, which is green tea. And this one is the hyaluronic acid with 2% uh, vitamin B5. Uh, I just think that for the price point, seriously, The Ordinary is amazing. They've had some like issues within their company, but uh, hopefully they will stay open because I need them to keep making their awesome skincare products. I also love their vitamin C. Um, what else? They have a bunch of other oils and serums that I'm just obsessed with. And in my best of 2018 makeup video, I'll have some others for you as well. So yeah, I, um, I've just been really loving all of the products by The Ordinary, but uh, just use them like as directed because it can go, it can be easy with The Ordinary to like put all of the serums on your face at once. Don't do that. Learn from my mistake. Don't do that. Just kind of chill. And, uh, and use them as needed. Um, so for moisturizer, so after I cleanse, tone, um, and then I have a spray here that um, I'll talk about briefly because I'm gonna do a whole separate video about it, but this spray is rosewood. So it is rose absolute, cedar wood, rose water, and glycerin. Um, and I think that's, that's what's in this one, but it is an amazing face spray. It's Oh, yeah, I have to do, I'm going to do a whole video about this one, uh, but uh, yeah, this has been such a game changer. Moving on to moisturizer, after we've cleansed, toned, serum, mask, now moisturizer. I have been playing around with several different moisturizers this year, and I'm 
playing around with one right now. But above all of them, I have loved the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. This is for all skin types. It's anti-aging. It, um, it just goes on super smooth. It soaks in quickly and doesn't leave you feeling greasy. You can use it for the day, for night. It just, it's an amazing, it says it's a super cream. And I, I agree, it's a super cream. I got this at Ulta during their 21 Days of Beauty sale. So I got it for 50% off because it can be pricey, but yeah, a little goes a long way. I also have been using this as my under eye um, cream because I recently ran out of mine. So yeah, I've been loving, loving that. Um, another moisturizing mask that you can use, either you can leave it on temporarily like 10 minutes or you can use it overnight, which is what I do, is the Freeman Beauty. This is the Glacier Water Pink Peony Gel Leave-On Mask. It is, it instantly calms and softens for uh, glowing skin. It's also anti-pollution. Okay, um, I have been loving this. Sometimes I use this as my daily face moisturizer. It absorbs so quickly. I have really like been playing around with gel moisturizers because for my sensitive skin, they just sink in, they don't clog my pores. Uh, yeah, so I've been loving this as a nighttime mask or daytime if I'm not going out in the sun. Um, let's see, moving along here. Speaking of sun is I haven't found a holy grail sunscreen. I'm still testing some, but one sun protection item I've used this year and loved is the Super Goop. This is SPF 50 50 Makeup Setting Spray. I got this uh, in that little like beauty to go section at Sephora, so I can't remember the price, but I wanna say eight to $10 last lasted me a really long time and actually I worked on a movie set back in the summer and like the makeup artist was really impressed at how well this protected my face from the sun because we were outside and how well it kept my makeup in place so I'm definitely going to repurchase this one very very soon um let's see so I think that's everything. Oh, then this is kind of in skincare, but it is a tool, is I have really fallen in love with my Jade Roller this year, and I use it with the, um, with the gel mask, and I just kind of go up in motions like this. I like to put this in the fridge. You can do gently the under eye. Um, if you want to see a jade rolling routine video, let me know because I'll share it with you. I find it's just super calming um, as far as the anti-aging benefits. I'm not quite sure, but it's really relaxing. I feel like it does help de-puff and I just love it as part of like my self-care, skincare routine. Uh, let's see here. I think I just have a few more items. So for, I know this is like skincare, and so I do have two body skincare products. The first one I have fallen in love with again. I used to use this way back like in 2006, I think it was. It is the Ocean Potion Sun, Sun Care brand Everglow. It is a gradual self tanning lotion, and um, I just really like to use it as my everyday body moisturizer and it provides like a tiny bit of color, just a little glow and I really like it. It has a really fruity tropical scent. Um, it also is free of some of the kind of questionable um, ingredients that can be in self tanners and yeah, so you know, it says like here is gonna be like the darkest that it gets but I just find it gives a nice glow, not like super, not like a Saint Tropez, not like a Full on airbrush fake tan, just kind of like a little, just a little glow. So I really like that. And the last thing I have, it's back behind here, is for uh, like moisturizing my body, my feet. I have been loving this year the Lush. Um, these are massage bars, or this one particularly is the Packageless Lotion. Oh, oh my gosh, it smells so good. I can't remember the name of this one, but I use it right after I get out of the shower so that my body is still warm. It just glides on, and I do it only at night because it can be kind of greasy, but I don't mind. I don't mind that greasy feeling. I just kind of like let it soak in, 
put on my pajamas and then go to bed. In 2018, I've been really loving the combination of the Lush Massage Bar as like a deep hydrating body moisturizer and then the Everglow is like my everyday body moisturizer. I find that it just makes my skin look glowing and healthy and it feels super soft. Those are the products that I have been loving and that have really worked for me for 2018. I would love to hear what worked for you and what skincare products you are loving. I am especially in need of a firming eye cream, so if you have a recommendation, let me know down in the comment section. Um, also leave me any comments or questions you have regarding any of these products, and if you want to see any like specific detailed reviews, just let me know. I do hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you will subscribe and join me for all of my future videos. You can turn on notifications by ringing the bell so you never miss a video. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you again very soon in my next video. Bye!